Downton Abbey, the movie, hits theaters today. And if you want to get your Downton on in Portland, the place to be is Pittock Mansion. So much so that Focus Features actually ran a contest out of Pittock Mansion, giving a few Portlanders a chance to see the movie early. They did so on Wednesday night. Two of the winners are with us. We have Lynn and Kelly. They're looking very crawly like you, Lady Violet, you, Lady Mary, headed out for an afternoon ride, perhaps. So you've seen this film that everybody's been anticipating. What did you think? Oh, I was not disappointed. In fact, I, it w went beyond my hopes and expectations. It was like going to a family reunion with all the drama and the quirks of your family and the laughter. In two hours, I, I think, how do they fit like six seasons of a television show with all those characters, right. the wealthy, the servants? Did it deliver on that, Kelly? Oh, absolutely. It was, you got to watch your favorite characters have a, a storyline from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. And it's not often you can take a film that has a dozen main characters and have that work and have it be logical all the way through. Yeah. With that in mind, tell me your favorite character, Lynn, and whether the movie delivered a storyline for that character. Lady Violet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Maggie Smith. Maggie mm -hmm. Smith. She's just delightful and she more than delivered. At least I understand. It was everything, again, everything I hoped for. The usual comedy. <gasps> yes. And yes, stingers. And the acerbic oh, comments. Yeah. Uh -huh. and her and Lady and her cousin Isabel, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. going back and forth. It was wonderful. And how about you, Kelly, your favorite character? My favorite character has always been Tom Branson, ah. who bridges the gap between downstairs and upstairs. And he gets a very interesting role in this part, in this movie. He does. I love how you're not giving any spoilers mm -hmm. here. You have enough cliches to get you through the visit. Final question. If Give me your rating. Good. Was it bloody boring, bloody fine, or bloody great? A lady. Bloody great. Oh, bloody great for <laughs> yeah. sure. Yeah. Oh, All right. Yes. <laughs> Ladies, thank you. I have a feeling you'll be heading back to the theater to see it again. I am. Oh, I yes. have tickets for Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Can never get enough down to know. <laughs> Yeah, both Lynn and Kelly tell me that if you didn't watch the six seasons of Downton Abbey, there's a 10-minute recap like catch you up with thing. some comedy that kind of gets you caught up. But I said that's a lot to cover in 10 minutes. It wow. Lot, yeah. Did you watch it? Oh, I did. She I loves it. it faithfully. You loved it yeah. all. And it was one of those where my husband would walk in the room and he's like, oh, you're watching that British show again. But then he would <laughs> yes. hang around. Yeah, you know oh, what? That's funny. <laughs> they had some great one-liners in that oh, show yes. that always yeah. would crack so me up. So you're a just, fan too. Just when I was about to fall asleep, they <laughs> break out, crack out a one-liner <laughs> and, and it would be like, oh, that was great. Like, yeah. like I think it was Violet that said, um, First electricity, now telephone. Sometimes I feel like I'm living in an H.G. Wells novel. Or something. It's like, okay. That's very good. Thank it you. piqued your so interest. Yeah. Well, my favorite character was definitely the Dowager. Mm -hmm. Just because she's called the Dowager. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> but it's like, wow, she's got an interesting title. <laughs>